So what has been the most challenging, right, is, so I'm a speech language pathologist, I need to see your mouth. Yeah. So a lot of what I do is we talk about like facial expressions and how communication is not just the words that you say. It's how you say it. It's your body language. So being on a screen, right, I could only see from here up. So it was harder to, we, I used a lot of videos. We did a lot of videos to try to see what was going on in the videos um, and just talking about it. So actually being on Zoom was a little bit better because I could see your faces still. Mm -hmm. Coming back and having to have the masks on, I've had some of my kids like with just articulation, like especially my littles, where they can't see my mouth, they can't see what my mouth is doing. So that has been challenging um, for them. But So it's been more just trying to expand upon language. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten to really work on the sounds as much. Now we're getting back to that a little bit better, but that was definitely impactful. Yes, 100%. Um, I am a speech language pathologist, and my brother is essentially nonverbal. So he has a few words that he can say. Um, he's got some signs that he'll use. Um, but when he was a young, like probably three to four, was when he first got it, um, augmentative communication devices. And I wanted them. I wanted to program them. I wanted to be the one to set them up because they weren't very good back then. Um, they were really like automated and so I would have to change the spelling of things so that they sounded like the way that we wanted to say them. And so then when I was probably a junior in high school trying to figure out what I was going to do once I was done with high school, I had no idea. And my mom found um, communication disorders and sciences in a college book as a major that I could take. And she said, I feel like this is going to be a great opportunity for you. And then once I got to college, I started to learn more and more about it and learn about all the different possibilities that I could have with that major. And as being a speech language pathologist, um, I can be a specialist with augmentative communication. And so that was sort of the avenue that I took. So I was definitely influenced by my brother. So my brother loves music. He loves to dance. His moves are maybe a little bit um, not typical because he hears music and like rhythm differently so he doesn't really keep rhythm very well so that's one thing being a dancer I'm like Deej you gotta, gotta figure that out um, but he's just always so joyful and just so full of expression and so sometimes others will imitate that in a mean way and so that's what I will have to defend and just more trying like I don't ever really try to stop it but it's just recognizing that he's being made fun of so just taking that into consideration and I think that that just makes me try to be more understanding of others and recognizing that we don't know everybody so we don't know why somebody's doing excuse me doing something so we need to be kind and respectful towards them because we don't know everybody's background so they might be doing something that that's legitimately what they need to do. And so we should be, we should appreciate the differences and we should be kind towards others. Hi, my name is Tess Silver. I'm Shaylin Davis. I'm Carson Clark. Hi, my name is Ava Hawley. I'm Diesel Cavallo. 